It's gonna be quite noisy because the dogs are, everybody's excited. The thing that they really, really love is to go out running. So most of the time you're just standing there enjoying the nature, uh, but sometimes the dogs make you work a little bit. That is Sinatra, <laughs> the one and only. He's the, he's the only blue-eyed dog we have at the moment. We call him the son of the devil. <laughs> and none of the dogs bite. They won't attack you unless you hurt them first. Uh, some of them will probably go in their houses and just look at you and think, what do you want? And uh, some of them will come running over, jumping on you, being very excited. <laughs> This is quite an experience. Um, as soon as these dogs see the harnesses, they start caterwauling. And I just had a kiss on the lips as well. Not the best kiss of my life, I must say. Ready, steady, go! Dog sledding is a mixture of so many things. It's exhilaration, excitement, it's also pure terror. With the dogs going at speeds of up to 30 kilometers per hour, it's important to figure out how the brakes work. We travel 13 kilometers through forest and onto a flat mountain path where the views are incredible. And then obviously there's the uphills and downhills. Uphills the dogs don't really enjoy, some of them are quite lazy. So you end up having to get off the sled and walk up. It's definitely good exercise. And then of course there's the downhill, which the dogs just cannot get enough of, so they go pretty fast. They're animals, you know, you, you can't necessarily control them. I certainly couldn't. It's a roller coaster ride. You can really get an impression of how quickly the weather can change up in the mountains. Yes. We went from complete whiteout to blue sky. For smelling like dog, it's just a small price to pay for one of the most exciting and thrilling things you can do in snow, or in fact, at all. Luckily, for anyone with a serious dog phobia, there are plenty of other activities to do here in Norway. So we are at Rondablik, and uh, the name is View of Rondane, because what we see when we look out from the hotel window uh, is the beautiful Rondane mountains. For us, living up here, up to seven months, we have snow. Uh, and uh, in the old days, before all the ski doos, we had to find a way. How do we get around in winter? And skis was the solution. So it was as obvious to ski as it's to walk. Nobody would really go out. Let's go out walking there. It's, uh, let's go out and do a little skiing. For a novice like me, cross-country skiing is the perfect way to experience the slopes without, well, too many slopes. It's more about the technique of sliding and striding through the snow than too much downhill action. And it's the perfect way to admire the scenery.